Roadstar Motorsport is an automobile customization company, and we specialize in uh, exotic European cars. So whose idea was it to start the business? Actually, the uh, idea pretty came up, well, it was, it was, it was a collabo, you know, from, you know, friends and people always commenting about, you know, how nice the cars we drove. Now, son, I understand you left a very good paying job to do this. Yeah. What were you thinking? Um, just like my job, you know, being a, in a stock broker with Morgan Stanley, you know, risk, you know, and I measure the risk factors and, you know, and how it can pay off and so forth. And any great businessman will tell you that, you know, sometimes you do have to take great risks. And sometimes a lot of these great risks comes with rewards. I figured I can't really go wrong. You went to the SBA and oh, asked yeah, for a hundred yeah. grand. What did yeah, they tell you? That, that was a pretty <laughs> um, interesting um, act. Uh, basically, they looked at me and laughed at me because I took a proposal and I uh, asked for you know a hundred thousand dollar loan, and they were just not interested at all, at all. So that actually created a lot of motivation for me to go ahead and make sure I, I did what I did and proved them wrong. And actually, after we started a business, we was doing so well, and we had our, we got our first article in the Rights Magazine. Actually, I went back to that um, SBA and took the uh, uh, magazine and showed it to the manager that actually, you know, basically told me to, to get at, you know, and he was quite, you know, quite amazed, you know, and then, and then he uh, apologized and he offered other services and, you know, and I, it was a wrap. How did you get the money? A lot of money came from um, money that I had saved up and money that I had accumulated as I worked at Morgan Stanley and also with a little bit of family support. Hussein, what do you do? Street promotion, industry. I go out, talk to the industry people, ball players, music, rappers, get them out here, tell them, hey, come check out my spot, Rose Star, because they like spending money anyway, so rather than go spend it somewhere else, be like, hey, come spend our Rose Star. And where did you find the people who know how to do these kinds of customizations? Okay, one of my guys here is uh, originally from Hungary. Uh, he used to be a, um, a mechanical engineer, uh, and he got out that business. I started with him. And he's, he's my guru tech <laughs> guy here. So I understand now you're thinking about going into Moscow, but I mean, will the market support something like this? You gotta understand that right now in Moscow, if you do your research, there's probably more millionaires in Moscow than anywhere else in the world. Now you're the PR guy, you're relying on your contacts and yes. your street savvy. To get yes, yes, here. yes. How are you going to do that in Moscow? Same way I did in the United States. Same way. No difference? Same no kind difference. of marketplace? Same kind of, just go to industry, go to wealthy neighborhood, wealthy parties, you know, stick around wealthy, you know, because only the wealth could really is for what we do. Give me an example of a deal that went bad and how you dealt with it. Okay, we had a, a, a gentleman that used to play for the Los Angeles Clippers, and it was time for him to write a check. And that, that became a big issue, because he, he kept adding all these things in the car, but I actually think about it as far as the cost. And then once it was done, it was way over what he had projected, and we couldn't re really reverse the effect. So, so what did you do? We just had to swallow majority of the cost. Interesting. And yeah. why did you do that as opposed to just take the guy to court? Because, you know, he was referred from another uh, uh, basketball player, which we have an awesome relationship with. And, you know, and because he was referred from another type of relation we, we already had with him, we didn't want to jeopardize that relationship. And also with him, he, that was his first year. He was a rookie. So we, you know, as a financial point, I'm thinking, okay, it's an investment for the future. So, you know, we're going to swallow now, but we get them back later somehow, some way along the line. Now, what you're doing looks like it's fun, but is it profitable? Yes, sir, it's profitable. How? How much? Where uh, we explored uh, different markets. For example, we have a, a client who is uh, one of the princes of Saudi that did a lot of work with us, and then he sent us quite a, a lot of referrals. What do you think it is that's making you guys succeed where so many other people have failed? As far as we was, we was here for a purpose, we was not here just to hang around. We was here for a purpose, so it was it was made clearly when we first came to this country that to make sure that whatever we do here, 
we got to keep in mind that you know we're here for a purpose, so we must we must succeed.